Well, hello everybody. Welcome on back. It's time for another game. It's an archbot. Let's slow this guy down, all right? It's your this game. This time we're in a AMP, key game. I got some film I want you to watch. Against 76ers. That's ridiculous. He's been on an absolute tear. Guess we gotta knock him off his rhythm then. Exactly. Hot streaks are mostly confidence. We shake his. Hot streak over. You know, everyone's been playing him the same way. But if we... Can I see that clipboard? Yeah, here. Wait, what do you got? All right, check this out. That's what I'm thinking. Now let's see whether we can not only win the game, but outperform him as well. There's the man me. of the hour. Go Ooh. get him, him. A shot of the Celtics earlier, coming down the tunnel. They're not messing around. They're ready to get to work here at home. Hey, everybody, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. I'm Brian Anderson. With me tonight, Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson, with Ali LaForce joining us courtside. A look at the 76ers starting group. Harrison and Bede are in the middle. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two, and it's Oubre in at the three. And for Boston, White and Brown are the two and the three. Then there's Jason Tatum, then there's Drew Holiday, and it's Bottoms in at the center position, locking down the middle. Rivalry games, yeah. Grant, always so that, extra spicy, especially when they I feature teams from the same conference. Ooh, I like a little like spice. 12, but remember, only one team per conference gets to the final. So, so that's and going to naturally be develop some rivalries here and there. So yeah. tonight Bro, should be a seven. really competitive game. And it's the Sixers to start out. Holiday against Maxi. Embiid a screen on Holiday. Here's Maxi. True on the 14 footer. Capitalizing from the mid range. Maxi just taking the and making it available. The, the kick out to White. Outside Holiday. Pass to Brown. Inside, Bottoms. Good! There and Brown go. gets the assist. Not just being selfish, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. White with the steal. Fast break. Oh, nice Here steal. comes the Celtics. Dunk it. Oh, yeah. Slams it home. Team. Did you guys see that? What an insane slam. Man, you got to have some hang time to pull that off. And even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He can do everything you want and need in that wing position. Here's Holiday. The Sixers getting their last shot to go. The three ball. And it's oh, Tatum. Oh, the six. There we go. That was quick. Tatum's got five. They're finding every shot they've wanted so far. A perfect three of three to start the game. Here's Maxi. And here's another one for the Sixers. Starting to couldn't, find couldn't his rhythm. It. He's it's cooking and he knows it. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. 
on That's target from three. range. And how great are they playing? Four for four shooting to start this one. The 76ers have gone three of three so far from the floor. Pass to Harris. Embiid, a screen on Tatum to the left wing. Oubre against Brown. Six to shoot. Embiid from outside. The rebound by Jason Tatum. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Offline with a three. Can't get through. They blocked me from the rebound. And Maxi's got the ball here for the 76ers. Trailing four by four. Their last useful. encounter was in Boston, where they were able to handle the Celtics. And last time out, they seized the advantage with their defensive pressure. They did a great job of just forcing a lot of turnovers. This defensive game plan is easy, keeping it the same, but making them change things. MB gets the bucket. Ideal way to start the game. Come out of the gate and knock down all but one of your first five shots. White on the wing. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. Tatum from long range. Philadelphia oh, couldn't grabs get the to miss. It again. Really doing a good defensive job. But then again, he is like 89. Pass to MB. The kick out to Maxi. Drains the triple. He's got seven. Now that's confidence right there. This is when you know Maxi is feeling it. Lots of winning going on in Philadelphia. Six straight playoff appearances, Richard. Yeah, they're the masters of the game. Stop their game. That's just the way it is. No finals appearances. And look, that's got to be top of mind. East is tough, but they've got the talent to go far, but they just keep having mid-seasons. Now here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. And checking out some numbers for Jason Tatum. Effective field goal percentage is a great way to measure his performance over the previous 10 games. It's been much improved, a sign that his game has been evolving. The Celtics making a switch here. Porzingis has checked in. Morris, he's checked in for the Sixers. Beverly comes in for Tyrese Maxey. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Bottoms. A 20-point game for him and the win against the Knicks in New York. Pass to Holiday from behind the arc. Pure from three-point range. A dozen consecutive points off of threes. This defense looks rattled. Now Morris. Back to Beverly. Morris, a screen on Holiday. Here's Beverly. Up and in on the layup. Love how selfless he is setting brick screens like this. Plays like that right there are what help create easy scoring opportunities. Here's Bottoms. Averaging around six a game. And here's Brown for three. Lovely. And again, Boston with the triple. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Beverly outside. Morris outside. Pass to Harris. Screen by Embiid. Harris down low. Defended by Brown. Harris misses. The Celtics with the lead. To the middle. Here's Porzingis. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Good, good Holiday's good got three assists in the game. Here. Philadelphia has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Pass to Embiid. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Porzingis grabs the board. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for Boston. Down low. Here's Bottoms. And he takes that one up and powers there it through. Go. Slapped it looking in. forward to seeing MP tonight. He's got a really tough matchup. His opponent has been on fire lately. A tall task for MP. He'll have to put in major work on the defensive end. And that one good. Embiid's gotten his third basket of the night. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. To the paint. Here's Bottoms. Ooh. Tries again. Got rebound though. We've got 13 seconds left in the opening quarter. Oh, missed Man, it. Can't sink that one. He's two for four in the contest. Here's Beverly. 
No good. Tight defense there. Bothered that shot. And so it's Boston finishing the, End of the first eight point lead. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action. just joining us we played through one quarter in this one and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for Boston they've really been dialed in from so here we this go is a team that has a ton Second of confidence quarter. in their outside shooting ability and I've also really liked how aggressive they've been in the open floor Eight point I mean, when they see a chance points, to push however, it they go for it make sure Tatum and Horford the duo at that. forward so it's then it's Kristaps Porzingis <laughs> then there's Peyton Pritchard and it's Hauser in a two guard that's the Boston five now here's Tatum coming off a terrific game against New York. Oh, and very nice. Good. Poor Zingas. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. Beverly finds Maxi. Takes a three. Batum shot is off. Defense dodged a bullet that time. Total breakdown. Here's Hauser. Three-pointer, no good. Just enough it. of a shot contest to bother him. Beverly, the pass to Maxi. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Orford pulls it in. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Here's Tatum. Philadelphia grabs the miss. And at home for the next game, it'll be Charlotte pulling in to face him. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. Up top, Maxi. Nine points in the game. It's not going to go for him. Oh, well, you got to miss sometimes, but that one seemed like a gimme. Always ahead of steam, Richard. Tyrese Maxey is so electric. You never know what he's going to bring. Oh, B.A., he loves to get out in transition and run. Speed is his greatest asset when speed kills. He definitely uses that to his advantage. Morris passes to Batum. Beverly outside. Pass to Morris. That shot is off. Great D that time from Porzingis. The Celtics have got nothing to go out of five attempts so far this quarter. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. I wiped its feet on the way that we had a ten point. Check out Porzingis' energy. He's just relentless on both ends of the court. Now here's Beverly. Not a lot of room. To stop the drought. Bowser grabs the board. For Boston, they've gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. Outside Tatum. Now for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. The three. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. It's a fine line between playing with urgency and being out of control. <laughs> and they cross that line. They never settled in defensively. Yes. <laughs> Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Joel Embiid talked about setting the tone. He said it's not easy being a leader. I'm not an off-the-court guy. I'm more reserved. But on the court, I show up. That's the way I like to lead, dominating on the court. Offensively, defensively, and try to bring everybody along with me. Brian? He does it well, for sure. Allie, thanks for that. That free throw good for Morris. 
And you sometimes hear players oh, sorry, it's about 98 their overall or lack against of my 71, so of course it's going to be a bit... Scenes, RJ. Oh, it's everywhere. This is one of the key things that coaches be a bit have one to navigate. That's what's the ego. Getting players grumbling or not to accept the roles that they are given. And that is the hardest part of coaching because every player believes he's a star. And rightfully so. Both free throws good from Morris. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Holiday finds Brown. There's Tatum with the three. Good. And Brown three. gets the assist. Tatum's got 11, 11 points. points now. And that's his first triple this quarter. Three total for the game. Holiday against Maxi. Pass to Embiid. Embiid puts it in. Uh, Inside, Embiid just has all the tools for success. The height, the power, and more importantly, the tenacity. Holiday passes to Tatum. He was all alone. Very on nice. Road. He's got 13. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Embiid. And it's Jason Tatum with a rebound. A minute 37 oh, left in the second. Oh, no, that bounce. The Philadelphia's ball. Kristaps Porzingis, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Tobias Harris checked in for the Sixers. A minute 37 left to play in the half. Outside Maxi. To the inside. Embiid inside. 29 points for him last game against Milwaukee. He was also exceptional defensively. Four blocks. I mean, his presence was huge. Pass to Bottoms. Philadelphia oh, got knocked over. Miss. Embiid's got four rebounds now. 103 left in the second quarter. To the paint. Here's Harris. Out to Ubre. Now here's Maxi. He's covered by Holiday. Five to shoot. Fires it from 18. And it's Maxi missing. He just looks off this quarter. It looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Bottoms, no good. Well, this oh, come on. Shooting for him, they're still out in front. Melton passes to Maxi. 26 seconds left to play in the first half. Melton against White. Here's Maxi. Uses the glass on the layup. Maxi's got 11 points. Continuing to work. No give from Maxi, even amongst the bigs. Brown scanning the floor. Porzingis with a screen on Ubre. Brown passes to Bottoms. Outside Holiday. Fires for three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Brown's got his third assist of the night. With balance and good work, go, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. And so it's the Boston Celtics earning this break in the action. Up 10. 10 and point it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very, very few possessions. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. Hello, everybody. Let's start out with a look at the recently announced Players of the Week. In the Eastern Conference, Tyler Hero. I'll tell you, he's been dialed in offensively, and the team's running everything through him. Yeah, and for good reason. points. He reads on, the floor well, and he plays six, at his own pace. Yeah, six bit there. You can't no speed this guy up. And pivoting back to our first half here, goes without saying, a lot to like for the Boston Celtics. Well, they did damage from behind the arc in the first half, hitting those three-point bombs. Took some life out of their opponent. We'll see if they can stay hot in the second half. Close this thing out. The law of averages might suggest otherwise, but we're talking about some great shooters. A 
appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Yeah, our first quarter was our best. By quite a bit. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. He's hit shot after shot from deep. He's so locked in right now. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. Second half underway. Here's who Nick Nurse has got on the floor. Maxi runs point with Melton at the two. Harris and Embiid are in the middle. And it's Oubre in at the three, the small forward. Outside Holiday lets it go from deep. Connect from downtown. Now he's starting Nine points really in the game. Good. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Thanks. Bottoms in the last game against the Knicks played some superb basketball. He contributed 20 points, and it was a strong night for him on the boards, finishing with nine rebounds. Once he found his rhythm, it was pretty much over. He found a way to do whatever he wanted. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Allie. Absolutely. He was a one-man show in that one, Grant. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same mentality tonight. And I'll be interested to see if the opposition looks to double him because this should open up opportunities for his teammates to get going. Here's Bottoms. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got assist number five here tonight. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Embiid. No good off the glass. Well, some trips you get the shot you want, it just doesn't fall. I'd go back to him in that area on the floor. And Joel Embiid is a rarity in many ways, including how effective he is inside. Yeah, B.A., we yeah, don't we see that as much as we used school. to. Big men dominating down low, but Embiid is an exception. A center with a deadly mix of dominance down low and skill work outside. Yeah, and every season, Embiid seems to improve as a scorer, adding different elements and linkers to his game. Holiday passes to Brown. Here's Bottoms. Outside, Brown. Inside, here's Bottoms. It's good. And he Got drew contact foul. on the shot, so and he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Around the league, we're increasingly seeing former players in front office positions, Grant. It's so true, B.A., and we need even more former players in those roles. They bring a perspective that a lot of front offices just don't have. They can add value with their experience. I really like this move. And the free throw, no good. Little bit too late. They've gone just one of three in the second half. Tatum against Maxi. Harris up top. Shoots over Brown. Harris misses. And they have been cold coming out of the break. Only getting one of their first four shots to drop this half. Gotta pick it up. Tatum <laughs> can't hit. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Gotta get my free throws going again. Out to the wing. Embiid with it. He's got 12. Back to Maxi. Screen by Embiid. And he goes in for the dunk. When Maxi is feeling himself, he can really fill up that stat sheet. Holiday passes to Bottoms. Out to the right wing. Here's Tatum. Pounded by Harris. Down low. Bottoms. Second chance shot. Goes up. Yeah, I got the rebound. It but it's easy. Up again. Bottoms has got 12. And he's been much more assertive here in the second half. Getting to his spots and executing with ease. Timeout called. The 76ers. 17 point lead. This is useful. Should the be 76ers also in the south. Off. Morris has checked in. 
Well, of course, he's getting more points, uh, more points, more time on the. Oh no, he's still on. Embiid finds Maxi over Holiday. And it's Maxi missing. The Celtics have gotten five of seven attempts in the third quarter. Brown passes to Bottoms. Now here's Porzingis. Outside, Brown takes one from 10 feet. And it's Porzingis that time on the assist by Brown. Brown's got six assists here tonight. The 76ers have got just two of six in the second half. Outside Maxi. Now here's Embiid. Guarded closely. Pass to Oubre. Shot clock at six. Late clock. The Sixers need to put one up here. Embiid. Good. When we say Embiid does it all for his team, here's yet another example. Outside Brown. Holiday against Maxi. Outside for Zingas. To the middle. Here's Bottoms. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, come get Here's that. Morris. Brown with some nice D. Aggressive mindset, but the defender just as determined to send the him away. Position oh, here. A wing who wants to pound it down low. Ooh, Brown a shooting to foul up to the line. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Boston. Oh, wow, they're moving the ball around so well, guys. Quick passes, letting the next guy do the work if you don't have a look. Another thing they're doing well tonight is shooting from long distance. All game long, they've been finding openings at the perimeter. Free throw, good. Brown. Brown As they go off. The lead score in this lead really does it all. Covington's checked in for Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to reference British biscuits. <laughs> Reference some yourself. And good on the second, so he makes them both. For Philadelphia, they've gotten just three of eight shots to go in the third quarter. Harris outside. Outside Oubre. Clock at six. Covington, a screen on Brown. And here's Oubre from the arc. All right, let's get a report from Ali. Hey, Brian, well, the Sixers have so much firepower, but it's all about chemistry. Anyone knows the way teams grow is by talking and being around each other. The connection between the stars is what's going to help them reach their peak. Brian? Well, they've had to deal with some adjustments for sure. Ali, thanks. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. Morris with it. Now Horford defending. Morris passes to Maxi. The Sixers with another miss. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Fritcher, no good. And Harris has got the ball here for the Philadelphia 76ers. Pass to Maxi. It's a 21 point lead. Outside the arc. The Sixers with another oh, miss. Sixers are starting to lose it. And so it's Boston. They're feeling great. A 21-point lead. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this.
in a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. <laughs> With the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. The star wing pair, it's Brown and Tatum outside. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. And the Celtics shooting has been good. 54% on this one. It's Brown on the wing. Three-pointer. And it's Martin with the rebound. But then again, and you just both. can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Pass to Covington. Now here's Rubio. Martin outside. Hey, puts up a three. That one falls. Coming off Rubio's feed. Martin's got his first three points of the game. Boy, you love how guys are making six plays for one score another here. Stop. Yeah, score. just a balanced attack, a total team effort. Now here's Brown. So that 18 points on it. All we have to do is run the top one. Which is possible. Back to Pritchard. Pass to Horford. On the wing, Tatum. Puts up a three. Rebound by the 76ers. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Here's Beverly. Martin with the ball. And it's out of bounds. Oh, it was by right Beverly. The face. A horrible mistake right there. You hate to see unforced turnovers like that. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Subbed in for Pritchard. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for Martin. The big guns are Embiid. Over 98. But again, going up against myself. He's, he, you know, he's a fair player. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Porzingis with a screen on Covington. And it's Tatum missing. Another miss. That's Philadelphia has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Beverly on the wing. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. Just so he's gonna up that tempo Back now. To Rubio. Hey, from beyond the arc. Offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. Mm -hmm. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat on the offensive glass. Outside Tatum. There's the three. That one falls. Hey, we nice finally got a three. Time from Holiday. <laughs> 19 points Holiday's now. got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. The 76ers have gotten half of their attempts to fall in the fourth. Two for four now. So we haven't really lost the ground. Morris outside. Embiid, high post. Working on Porzingis. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Yeah, don't make a habit of this. We've seen games where Embiid shoots 20 free throws or more. He is so good okay, ready to come back to on. Right, so about to come back on as well. And he makes a first. A scoring machine. There's just no shot and beads and afraid to take. And the 76ers will have a different look here. Tobias Harris checked in for Morris. Oubre comes in for Covington. Melton, he's checked in for Beverly. And it's Maxi in for Rubio. So here we go then. And Embiid drops them both. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Holiday passes to Bottoms. Tatum against Harris. Inside. Bottoms, no good. Missed it. 
And for the 76ers, they're shooting the ball at 43% from the field. Pass to Maxi. Indeed, a screen on Holiday. Back to Melton. Now here's Embiid. He's closely guarded. The rebound, Celtics. Bottoms has got a rebound number five here tonight. White with it. Melton covers. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Tatum. Here's Bottoms. To the inside. Oh, rebound game. By Maxie. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. The Celtics have got one out of six shots to fall defensive. in this final quarter. Not ideal. Pass to Holiday. Now White, back to Brown. To the paint. Here's Bottoms. That's there we go. I have to get some seventh made field goal in 15 tries. Those assist numbers from Brown have continued to creep up. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. They're not gonna win. Melton with the ball. Down low. Oh ho ho hoy. And the basket by Embiid. Embiid's got 10 points in just the second half. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. Now here's Tatum. Outside White. The kick to Tatum. Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number 11. It looks like it'll be a big win for them here. Time to just cruise Good to the Lord. end of the game and points. chalk up the victory for the Celtics. Oh, shit. What Check am I doing? Out their assist numbers. They didn't get stuck in isolation. They got the ball to the guys who had the best matchups. And they played well tonight, picking up win number 24 of the year. And this is how they wanted to finish off this season series, with a win and evening it up at two games apiece. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for Jason Tatum. Terrific initiative. Not content to let the game come to him, he went out and made it his own. The Celtics have gotten just three of nine shots to go in, struggling this fourth quarter. Back to Tatum. To the paint. Here's Bottoms. Excellent oh, come there on. from MB. And Philadelphia has possession. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. 27 seconds left to play in the fourth. Oh, and that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. Substitution on the court. Force turnover. Boston with the ball. They can simply hold on to the ball here. No question, B.A. They deserve the win. Here's Pritchard. There we go. Easily <laughs> grabbing this one. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence and operating flawlessly. The other just looked lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved with in the jump. Anybody. Once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. C plus, not a great game for us there, though, you know.
Yeah, I know. Great effort. Nicely done. See what the next game is. So it'll be D Dallas. 37 22, that's going to be a hard game. Okay, so here we go then. In the, in the Eastern Conference. Charlotte Hornets. Oh, look at this. Toronto. Oof. They're holding on. We've just got to get one more over Toronto. And two more over Charlotte. We've got to get to here where the Milwaukee Bucks is. If we get a winning record, we're over. We're into here. But that's to come next time. I've been a lot of team maker. That's been Sir Archibald. I hope you've had a good time watching this. I'll see you next time for the next one.